Hi everyone. In the PN junction diode equation, there is a term shown by Greek letter eta called ideality factor. In this video, I will explain what the ideality factor is, where it is coming from, and what its impact on the diode characteristics. In a PN junction in forward bias, free electrons diffuse from N type to P type and recombine with holes. In the same way, holes diffuse from p-type to n-type and recombine there with free electrons. This is how the current is formed in a p-n junction diode and it is the basis for deriving the diode equation. If we assume that all the diffused electrons or holes reach to the other side and none or very few of them are recombined in the depletion region, we will have this equation without the term eta, or we can say eta equals to 1. This is true at moderate forward currents when the diode voltage is well above the cutting voltage because the depletion region in this situation is very narrow and the recombination in the depletion region is negligible. But at small currents or small diode voltages, the depletion region is wider and the recombination in this region is significant and cannot be ignored. This reduces the rate of change in current, which can be shown by an eta larger than 1. In silicon diode, the maximum value of eta is 2 when there is maximum recombination in the depletion region. In general, eta varies between 1 and 2 depending on the current. At much larger currents, there is another effect called high carrier injection, which reduces the rate of change in the current and increases eta towards 2. This is the normalized plot of current in logarithmic scale versus normalized voltage. The slope of the curve, the slope of the curve is equal to 1 divided by eta. In the middle, which is the widest region, the slope is 1, corresponding to eta equal to 1. At the small currents, the slope is 0 0.5, corresponding to eta equal to 2, due to effect of recombination in the depletion region. At very high currents, the slope is 0 0.5 again, or eta equal to 2, because of high carrier injection. Let's see how change of eta affects the IV characteristics of the diode. This figure shows the IV characteristics of diodes with different values of eta. Although the value of eta changes with current, but I have assumed they have the same eta at all currents to demonstrate the concept. As you can see, by increasing eta, the characteristics shift towards higher voltages. Why this term is called ideality factor and how does it relate to the ideal diode? I have seen some people refer to a pin junction diode with ideality factor of 1 as the ideal diode. I'm afraid this is not true. Ideal diode is an abstract concept, a model, which does not physically exist. In this figure, you can see the IV characteristics of the ideal diode. An ideal diode is short circuit at forward bias and is an open circuit in reverse. As you can see, the diode with ideality factor of 1 is very different to an ideal diode. In semiconductor diodes, the ideality factor cannot be less than 1. But let's hypothetically assume some values less than 1 for eta. As you can see, by decreasing eta, the characteristics shift to the left and get closer to the ideal diode. When eta is very close to 0, the characteristics are similar to the ideal diode. Therefore, the ideality factor shows how close the diode is to the ideal diode. 
I emphasize that, as far as I know, semiconductor diodes do not have ideality factor less than 1. Thanks for watching and I hope you have found it useful.